dark and it's about to rain. So uh, with that being said, I think I'm going to try and coat the uh, boards with the clear coat, um, like the sealer, uh, the boards for the ceiling of the cab area. And then I'm going to pick out my boards, which ones I want to go where, make my measurements, make my cuts, and then see where I can get with that. Um, hopefully it doesn't rain too much and I can kind of do a little bit of work outside but I want to get this board off as well and take it out I'm hoping it fits through the door it almost looks like it's too wide to go through the door um, but we'll see they may have assembled it in here because it has a piece a strip at the back that's stapled on so they may have brought in the pieces separately and then put it together in, inside. If that's the case, I'll just kind of shift it back. I don't need to take it all the way out. Um, but then, yeah, I'm going to lift the screws out, set everything up, put my first few boards back in along the edges, and then might work my way out. So that's kind of how that's going to go down. And then uh, I don't really plan on getting the top done. I know I don't have enough boards to even do that if I wanted to. Um, but I think I'm going to try and <clears throat> trim the edges. And then I might face the, the sides. And then um, I'll be able to build from there outward. Or I can just wait until the top's done and then face it finally after all the cuts are made. I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do there yet, but other than that stuff, I'm going to be doing the gaps and cracks. I have a sealer and a, a foam insulating sealer for RVs that, that's luckily black. So I'm going to put it out along that window there, that hole there, um, a bit around the uh, water inlet. And um, there's a couple couple spots like under the sink. I don't think I ever showed you guys, so we'll go ahead and do that. But I know there's um, one spot there for the propane. I'm not sure if it'd be necessary to seal that, but I may seal around here too. Um. But a lot of it, a lot of it, I feel like I should wait until my plumbing and stuff is actually done for this kind of stuff. And um, there's, oh, it's gonna be hard to see. It's pretty dark. There's these two little ones that go into the, into the actual floor of the RV, and they're like little pole pin things, and I'm not 100% sure what they do, I think they're drain, little drains for those specific pipes, and if you pull it up, it drains the water out of there instead of you having to run anything like with the water pump but there's no water in the pipes right now so I'm not 100% sure I have no way to test that and I don't want to turn any of the water on right now because this guy's not in and I just don't want to take any chances but yeah mainly that window there this hole here and uh, I might just seal around the bottom, the edges there, just to make sure there's a watertight seal. And anywhere else that I think may be needed, um, but yeah, it's not too many spots, so I think we'll just stick, stick with that for now, and then if I need to add more after, I can add more after, but I want to definitely get this window just out of the way so I can finish this area and then 
kind of work my way back. That's honestly the plan um, that it seems that's unfolding that I never really actually put into much effect or thought. So I'm going to finish that. I want to get this area done. And then the cab area is kind of finished. And then I'm going to add the boards. I may end up just painting it, but I feel like the boards would just be nicer. But we'll see what happens. But I know I'm going to be building planter here and a planter there. And then I'm going to get um, like uh, storage bins. And I'm going to have them come across. Ones that will kind of fit into this space. Um, they're obviously not going to be massive. But I want them to be big enough. And then I'll just have them come across. And I can pull them out get my stuff whatever that may be coats just stuff that I don't use often but things that I know I'm gonna need at some point oh, wow um, that kind of hurt but yeah and then wherever the bins end it'll probably be like something around here then I'm gonna have this area this like this area for like a workstation like laptop whatever I can stand here and work because I do like to stand and work so I feel like this would be a nice little spot and then I can have like I'm gonna add a lip and then I can have stuff here that I use on a daily basis but have no other space for it like i don't really have any like table space in the bedroom so i'm gonna kind of substitute this um for whatever like little things um like dresser items i guess you could say and uh i may once it's like has a lip and stuff i may have like little um totes or something just to like hold my stuff like not bins or boxes, but like canvas container type things. And then that will be done. I'm also probably going to add a light there because it's wired for one. So may as well take full advantage. It would have been nice to have it here. I mean, I always could just extend the wiring here if I really want to. And I'm also going to wanting to put one in there as well so and then i'm gonna work my way back i'm gonna start with uh also i'm gonna take this wallpaper off i'm gonna be painting soon sooner than later and um getting the ceiling out i've already kind of started over here i'm gonna have to take this wiring apart to get it fully off but like i just wanted to check what was going on back here and from what I see is wood board roof and then steel beams and then aluminum on the other side. So that's pretty sturdy. So I'm not sure why they chose this kind of roofing. This may have been the original RV roof. And then they added this on top of it to have a smoother finish without having to sand it and all that stuff. But um, if that's the case and there's beams on every one of these locations, it should be pretty easy for me to uh, add in my solar mounting hardware, like the U-channel and stuff, because there'll be one here and one here. I'm going to have um, a vertical channel that runs across that'll be bolted in in like probably four locations like a lock wa with like a locking washer and stuff like that to make sure it's really in there and then one across here and then um there's probably another one around here somewhere because it seems like it's every two ish feet and if that's the case then i'll put another one here before the fan and then i think that's this is the closest thing like air conditioner vent whatever that would be in the way. So I'd add a third. And then I'll have vertical U-channel that will run across. 
and then the panels will be mounted horizontally on those vertical ones so they'll kind of stack on each other and uh, they'll just be super secure and that way if I want to remove the panels I can remove them off the vertical channel pretty easily because I'll have space to get underneath and work with the hardware because if I bolt them directly into the frame or with like solar uh, panel hardware or into the horizontal channels then that means I run the risk of never being able to take them off or access the hardware without having the ceiling removed because the washers would have to be on like the the nut or the bolt sorry would have to be threaded through this way rather than this way so um Having the like two sets of U-channel would definitely help in that aspect, but also it'll be way more secure by having it bolted fully across into each uh, part of the frame, and then from directly out of the frame, having the vertical struts run into those, so it'll just be super secure, and I don't have like I have less of a chance or almost no chance of the wind pulling it up and ripping a panel off, and then having smashing panels and being out of solar for uh, whoever knows how long on the road and that's not that's something I want to avoid so um yeah that's my plan for that so once the ceiling's out before I put anything new in I want to get that hardware set up on there and then I'm gonna seal the roof off once the hardware's on and I get my new fans in so that everything on the roof is just done I don't have to worry about it and I'll know that I'll have no leaks. And then I can build out my new ceiling. I thought I initially I was going to have to put fairing strips because I didn't think there was a wood behind this stuff. But now that I'm seeing that there is a wood behind it and there's metal framing, I can run my board along and I can either drill it in with screws into the frame and then just put brad nails through the board into... Um, into the wood that's underneath it or I can put just like construction adhesive and then just put brad nails to support that while it's drying and then that that'll hold it because it's not really going to be bearing any weight like nothing's going to be pulling on it or anything like that matter of fact things will be bolted into it to hold it up so I have options and seeing that was nice um but definitely before the roof fan is, goes back in, I want to get my new fans as well. And I got to locate some beams and planks and whatnot for the roof anyway. So a lot of it is just sourcing materials and planning rather than doing a whole lot of work. There is a lot of work, but like I could work all day, every day, and I'd be fine with that. But I can work and work and work. But... Uh, the planning and the sourcing and the organizing is mentally taxing and I'd rather be physically taxed than mentally taxed oh look at this little baby spider I keep seeing him everywhere he jumps like crazy super cute man anyway he's he's my bud we're bros now like if there's any bugs in here I, get, I'll, I trust him to take care of them for me, especially the little ones that were in here when I first got it. So, this uh, part of the video has run so much longer than I expected. And, um, I didn't intend for that, but we'll get started on sealing those planks and uh, see where we go from there with the ceiling and whatnot. So. Let's get to it. Okay, so I've got them all sealed up. And uh, I decided along the way that they were looking a little too raw, too white. So I took the torch to them and I gave them a bit of a burnt look. I think it adds a really nice uh, final touch. It's not too plain. A couple of the boards I haven't sealed the other side yet. So this is what it looked like before. See that it's really white. And this is a comparison. So I think it'll 
match the uh, aesthetic of the RV pretty nicely and um, I'm pretty set on which side is going to be up and whatnot so I don't really need to torch the up back side I just need to seal them from here back these ones I already did the other side I had started out initially just plain and I had already sealed it so I couldn't go back and do it so I just sealed the opposite side and uh, I've got a couple spare pieces that I haven't sealed or anything yet um, this one initially I was going to put at the very front above the windshield because it has a bit of a curve to it and uh, I wanted to fit it in like that into the little opening that's in the metal so I sanded it down on an angle but it needs to be a lot thinner like it's a really small 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 space so I might have to take the 80 grit to this again and really 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 thin it down and see what I can do but it's going to be a tricky spot to to get done so I'm going to start with the edges first probably and then just make my way from there so I'm going to seal the back side of these and then uh, we're going to go fill in those uh, gaps and whatnot with the gaps and crack sealer I got this stuff great stuff it's a multi-purpose black. Uh, as you can see here, it's got a trailer on it and a boat. It's So it's for indoor and outdoor use, marine and automotive. And it fills, seals, and insulates. And uh, with that being said, if it's for marine use, it's waterproof. So I figured this would be the best option. There is a few others of the same brand. Some that go up to a three inch gap. Some specifically for windows and doors. Uh, another one that was just general purpose and then this multi-purpose and this one's black the other one no other one is black so I figured we'd just go with this so we're gonna finish these off fully go do this up and then uh, take some measurements possibly ma possibly make some cuts and then get that board off and uh, go from there okay, so I came to seal the last crack, which is in the generator box. Um, I just wanted to seal under the wood that raised up from the metal, just so it has a good contact and whatever. So I finished everything else, and I'm not sure if you guys will be able to see. I'm really hoping you can. But in here, there's like a complete I already dug basically all of it out, but this was all rotted wood. It's the, um, like the back wall ends here, right there, and the floor, well, it doesn't actually end right there, there's a bit of space, but the flooring ends right where this seam is. And then it drops down a bit to the subfloor. You can see the foam and whatever, and then it ends. And this is the box for the generator, which is under the bed. This back piece goes out just a little bit past the back wall. And so it's like basically right here. And the majority of the top part is foam, but this was wood down here. And it was like totally rotted. Like, it's so, so, so soft. Like, look at that. It's like powder. And so, in one of my previous videos, I noticed there was a bit of water that was dripping from right here just a 
tiny little drip when I had a lot of water on the roof. And so I think one of the seams has a leak and it's coming down through the wall between the actual wall and the and the exterior wall. And it was collecting here. So I'm gonna get this out and then I'm gonna get like a the big gap sealer. Um when the store is open. And I'm gonna seal all that up. But that issue should be resolved when I reseal the roof. So I'm not too, too worried about it, but for now, I just wanna be proactive and make sure I take care of that. So I'm vacuuming that all out. And then uh, I pretty much ran out of sealer anyway, so I'm probably just leave that for when I get the big sealer, like the three inch, the one that's meant for larger gaps, just to make sure I get a good contact. And um, yeah, I'll show you guys the ceiling that I've done inside and then we're gonna call it a night I think okay as I continued I think I noticed why there is water damage this piece this is really hard to do with one hand this piece right here oh my god sorry guys This piece right here is cracked and there's nothing to hold it back. So water, when it drips down, it follows seam. Water will always follow the seam. There's all, there will always be water tension, surface tension. So it like just was sitting in there, coming down and then it would pool here a bit. Even when I when I did this, moist I could like moisture is coming out, and so no wonder it was dripping from right here. Like it's just following, sitting for so long, and then it would be at the bottom of the seam, sitting, 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 and then after so long it just drips out. So I need to seal this as well. So I don't think it was a roof leak. I think it's this. So that's kind of good, because that's a lot easier to fix. Despite the fact that I'm fixing the entire roof, it's still like, just peace of mind. Anyway, I'm gonna finish up and then we'll chat in a bit. Okay, so here's the spray foam that I put in around this window. It expanded a lot more than I thought it was going to. Sorry. But it's like super sturdy now. Before when I would press on it, this would go like squish up and down. But now when I press on it, it's super strong. There's no weak points. It's just really nice. This is the trick. And uh, all I have to do is, is cut it away. Like so, for example. It's just a solid foam now and uh, yeah so in the morning when it's fully cured I'll just take an exacto knife and just slice it across evenly make sure the window opens smoothly all of that good stuff The screen does not, so clearly there's something blocking it. Oh my god. Um, it's most likely right here. Let's see if I can free this up. Because I want to be able to. I 
I want to be able to open all this up. Like, this side I can do first, and then I want to be able to open this up, bring it all the way across, and then cut this side out too. So. This stuff really expanded like a lot. Which I wasn't expecting. Let's see. Yeah, that's like super stuck, so. We'll take care of that tomorrow, but. For now, we'll let it fully dry, and, uh, yeah, like, down low. I shouldn't have done that, but it's not fully cured yet, obviously. So, I'm going to get myself cleaned up now, and we're going to take care of that in the morning.